Hey guys, it's Leanne. It's Lena. So for this week's video, we wanted to come on and talk about the topic of what it means to be blessed and what blessing means because I feel like a lot of us have grown up with a wrong understanding of what being blessed means and what blessing means. And I can admit that for myself personally as well, um, that um, from my own perspective and how I've been taught and how others have presented what being blessed means is like material blessing, uh, promotion, favor, um, which is all true, but that has really limited our understanding of what being blessed means and has caused us to have like an unhealthy hunger for blessing and stuff like that. And that um, those unhealthy mindsets and perspectives of what blessing is has made us into a culture where we're always striving um, and always trying to obtain the next in order to feel that we're blessed so we're always ch like chasing the blessing rather than kind of operating from a place of being blessed yeah and so that has uh, really tainted my own identity of who i am and i i'm pr more than sure that it has tainted a lot of um, other people's identity because we're so hungry to want to be blessed that um, it has impacted our identity in a harmful way. So for this week, we wanted to touch on that and um, just share some revelation we've been getting just in our time in God's word and in his presence and just the ways that he's ministered to us about that topic specifically. And we definitely hope this message is encouraging to you all. So I'm gonna let Lena take this away because the downloads she got were just very excellent. So. So what brought me to this topic was um, I was just kind of like reading through Jacob's story. So if you're not familiar with his story, you can find that in Genesis. Um, and you can specifically read the chapters 25 through 33 because that was the scripture and the passage that I was meditating on. And I was just pretty much curious about that one passage where Jacob was wrestling by himself and it said he was wrestling with a man. Some people say that he was wrestling with like an angel or um, other translations said that he was wrestling with God himself. But I was just curious, like that specific passage, it said that Jacob did not let the man go until he blessed him. So that's kind of what um, was kind of sitting in my spirit. And I was just trying to meditate on that. And so when I read like all the passages up to that point, um, it was just really mind blowing. What God gave me so if you know Jacob he came from a broken bloodline which um, I resonated a lot with because for him he was a twin and we're twins <laughs> and it described him as being someone who was mainly like at home and whereas his brother was more outgoing his dad favoritized his brother Esau who was outgoing and um, Esau was also the firstborn so um, that already put him at an advantage and then his mom Rebecca um, favoritized Jacob so there was already that tension between the parents and who they favored more that caused a rift in his relationship with his brother Esau and so he was always like fighting and arguing and scheming to like steal his brother's blessing so we can just see like Jacob because he had a broken identity he was always searching to take what was Esau's because he felt like he wasn't blessed and because he didn't feel accepted by his own family, he felt like he had to strive and change himself in order to feel to feel blessed. Just a side note, not saying that that's our relationship at all. The only thing that we really relate to is being twins in the story. But we, um, I would say for the both of us, we have both felt that rejection from our parents. So more so our family, like favoritizing our brother and like other members of our family and really planting those seeds of rejection in us that has caused us to always be striving and things like that. Yeah. So we can see here that because he didn't believe that he was blessed and because of like his own family dynamic and how they treated him, um, he already, had that perspective where he needed to try to do things and strive for blessing. And then also in the story, another thing that happened was uh, between Jacob and his mom, Rebecca, 
So his mom, Rebecca, was the one to advise him to um, pretend to be Esau in order to steal his brother's blessing because in the story, uh, the firstborn was always the one to get his father's blessing. And so the father, who was Isaac, was about to pass away and he was getting blind too, so he couldn't see well either. So his mom was the one to suggest that, hey, Jacob, go dress up as your brother and like put fur on your arm to pretend to be your older brother so that you can take your older brother's blessing. So again, it was from his mom that caused that broken identity within himself. Throughout his whole life, he has been wrestling with his identity and trying to get the approval of his parents and his father's blessing. We see him just having like this type of like imposter syndrome where he never felt enough or qualified enough. So he was always having to dress himself as somebody else in order to gain a blessing. Yeah, his mother just kind of planted the seed of rejection in him. So we'll fast forward to the part that I was meditating on and trying to figure out what it all meant. So in Genesis 32 verses 24 to 29, it says, Then Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until the breaking of day. Now when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the socket of his hip, and the socket of Jacob's hip was out of, out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaks. But he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. So he said to him, What is your name? He said, Jacob. And he said, Your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked, saying, Tell me your name, I pray. And he said, Why is it that you ask about my name? And he blessed him there. So after I read that passage and was just trying to figure out why that scene was so important in Genesis and what the meaning of Jacob wrestling with the man was, God pretty much dropped it in my spirit that when the man touched his weak spot, that's when Jacob cried out, I won't let you go until you bless me. And that really hit my heart because pretty much all his life, Jacob has been fighting, but it wasn't until God touched his weak spot that Jacob cried out what his deepest desire was, which was to be blessed. And pretty much it was when he admitted his weakness and he admitted his desire and even his um, worthiness to be blessed, that's when God blessed him there. God wanted Jacob himself to understand that he was deserving of being blessed, and he wanted him to admit that out of his own mouth. All of his life, he was working for that blessing, but it was not until he knew, like, I won't let you go until you bless me. He knew it belonged to him, so that's when God finally blessed him, and he changed his name in his identity because his name was attached to brokenness, but God changed his name to Israel to help him to see from God's perspective that he's always been blessed by God from the very beginning, regardless of how broken other people have caused him to see his own identity. So that was very, very good. When she shared that with me, I was like, wow, <laughs> because just throughout the whole story, you see that he was being trained up to go after a blessing and his mom was trying to get him in positions where he had to put on these false identities in order for him to feel blessed in order to get his father's blessing and that's the thing that he's been chasing after this whole time but it was not until he was really wrestling with god that god revealed to him that his identity is already blessed so the real meaning of what it means to be blessed is your identity. You yourself are already accepted by God and you don't have to do anything to be blessed because that's who you are. God calls all of us blessed. So from the very beginning of time, God created us with an identity that means blessed. So it has nothing to do with what we do and what we attain. It's the very core of our identity. So I really hope that you catch this message as well and really meditate on that and understand that who you are is blessed. I really hope that heals any broken identity within you and any ways that other people have broken your identity as well. So that's the message we wanted to share and encourage you all. So we just hope that 
this perspective just completely changes the way that you approach life and how you walk through life. Not chasing after things and material or even an identity that people are trying to place on you, but walking from a place of being blessed and knowing that you are already blessed and that just will, will automatically like open so many doors for you because you have that right perspective of yourself. So we hope you all enjoy this and that this encouraged you and we'll see you all next time. And if you guys are interested in joining an online community to receive daily or weekly encouragements, we definitely encourage you to subscribe to our newsletter. We'll be sending those messages out. So you wanna get some of those, uh, go to our website, which is theriveroftherevival.com and revival is spelled uniquely. So it's the river of revival, which is R-E-V-I-V-L-E, -E, which is our last name, .com because you know, the revival starts with us. So we'll have that all linked below and make sure you subscribe.